Okay, good afternoon, guys. Today we're going to uh, wrap up the first half of Chapter 3, and it uh, involves solving two-step and multi-step inequalities. Now, luckily, this is very simple if you know how to solve equations, okay? Um, you solve inequalities using the same skills used to solve equations, except that when you multiply or divide by a negative, you must flip the inequality sign. Now, can anyone tell me what the, the rules are for solving a multi-step equation? Anyone tell me? Sir, that's not the first step. Sorry, sir. No, sir, that's the goal. The goal of every, of every equation or inequality is to get the variable by itself. Yes. Very good, my brother. First thing you're going to do is you're going to distribute. Okay? You're going to do complete all distributive properties. Once you've completed all distributive properties, what do you do then? You combine like terms on both sides of the equation. Fantastic, my brother. Now what do we do, guys? Get the variables together on one side. Fantastic, brother. Now what? No, not yet. You already got the variables together on one side. No, you already did distribute. Okay, guys, this is a little bit sad and hurts me because we've gone over this a hundred times and we just had a chapter test on this. In order to solve a multi-step equation, you undo all distributive property first. Then you combine like terms on both sides of the equations. Then you move all of the variables together to one side of the equation. Then you undo addition and subtraction, and you undo multiplication and division. I find it very disturbing and sad that you guys don't learn that. This is something that I have been begging you to learn, and yet you still refuse to learn it. Unfortunately, life is not as forgiving as I am, and life will, will pay you back. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, guys, so then in that case, if you know how to solve multi-step equations, you're going to do fine. Apparently, not many of you know the rules. So this is going to be very difficult for some of you. I suggest you watch the rules of solving multi-step equations and learn them. Commit them to memory. Please, I beg you. Okay, so what do we do here, sir? Yes. You sw okay, you don't know what you're doing. Yes, sir. You subtract 9 to both sides. Yes. No, sir, you weren't saying that with all due respect. You were saying switch 9. I don't know what switch 9 means, sir. I don't have time to fool around today. Now what do we do, sir? Continue. No, you don't divide 4x by anything. No, you don't divide 4x by anything. You divide 4 to both sides. Yes, sir. Good job, son. So that means x is greater than 3. Here's 0. Here's 3. Open circle. x is greater than. Boom. You're done. Sir. Sure. What's up, man? What do I do here for the next one, my brother? You add 7 to both sides. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Excellent, my brother. You divide negative 6 to both sides. Fantastic. No, it's not going to equal anything as an inequality, Papal. No, it's not going to be less than or equal to because you divide it by a negative. It's going to be x is greater than or equal to negative 4. Does that make sense, gentlemen? Does that make sense? All right. May I continue? Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Let's continue. All right, what do we do here, gentlemen? Yes, sir. How do you move that five to the other side, my man? Excellent, my brother. Excellent. Yes. Now, what do I got, Bubble? Yes, sir, it is, my man. Correct? Correct? Excellent. 
correct, because negative 3 is being multiplied to n, so you cancel out by division. Well done, son. Very good, son. You got to flip it because you multiply by that negative. And then, hold on, my man. When I graph it, how do I graph this? How do I read that, my man? Open circle, and am I going to the left or the right? Wrong. That was a trick. Look, guys. It's n. It's n is less than 3. Okay? n is less than 3. n is less than 3. So, here's 3. The values of n are less than that, so they go to the left. Remember, my brother, you always read from the variable. No worries. Thank you. Great job. You had a question, my man. Yeah, you always read from the variable. He was setting it up here. He was just saying, this is what I have to write down. I have a 3, I have a greater than sign, and I have an n. But the solution is not 3 greater than n. It's n is less than 3. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, what did you got there, man? Talk to me. What do we got? Minus 30 to both sides. So you subtract 30 to both sides. Absolutely 100%. 20 is greater than 0.8x. Fantastic. Divide by 0 0.8. Yes, sir. And x is going to be less than, well, you have the 0.8 out here. Right? One to the right. One to the right. Bring that bad boy up. That goes to, yeah, I know it's 25, guys. I'm just showing the work. And so how would I read this? X is less than 25. Well done, son. So open circle, 25. Open circle, less than. So that means the values of X are less than 25. So you shade to the left. Does that make sense? Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, kid. Talk to me, my man. First you distribute, that's exactly right, sir. So that's 3x plus 3 is greater than or equal to negative 9. Okay, my man? Subtract 3 to both sides. Good, good. 3x is greater than or equal to negative 12. Okay. Um, so now we have, what do we do? Divide by 3 to both sides. Very good. No, x is greater than or equal to negative 4, sir. So um, go to the negative 4, open circle. It's greater than or equal to, close circle. Oh, greater than or equal to, and then you shade, bam, to the right. Does that make sense? Let's do some more. Ah, this is what we're going to be um, having on the quiz a lot of. A lot of fractions on the quiz. Lots of fractions on the quiz. Lots of fractions on the quiz. Let's go ahead and move this so we have plenty of space. And then, okay, so what's the best way to start this? Before you find the common denominator, if you want to go that route, shouldn't you turn that into an improper fraction first? So that's 3 fifths x minus 2 thirds is less than or equal to 11 sixths. Now, What's the common denominator here, my man? 30 is exactly right. Uh, actually, no, it's not 15. No, it's, it's going to be 30. It's going to be 30. There's no doubt. All right. So remember, we're distributing. So this is um, 90x over 5 minus 60 over 3 is less than or equal to 330 over 6. What's 90 divided by 15? 90, 90 divided by 5. Sorry, I don't know how to read. <laughs> no. Okay, guys. Um, you're just going um, um, um. I wish you knew how to multiply. That goes in one time. And then that's going to be 18. So for those of you that are going um, 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 with all due respect, um is not a number, first of all. And secondly, I have already told you about reducing. I've told you the importance. And some of us still don't want to learn. That's going to be a problem for you. Negative 20. 
Come on, man, think. How many times does 6 go into 33? 5, and then there's 3 left over. Drop down the 0, 55. Very good. Very good. So then I add 20 to both sides. And I got 18x equals 75. I uh, come on, less than or equal to. Divide by 18. And x is going to be less than or equal to. You just do it out, guys. How many times does 18 go into 75? What do you think? That's real close to 20, right? So, try four. Try four, guys. That's a two. That's a three. Look at that, 72. So, that's four. Then I have a leftover of three. So, this is going to equal four and three eighteenths. So, my total, my final answer would be x is less than or equal to 4 and 3 eighteenths. Now, let's talk about how to graph that, okay? It's very simple. Put your 0, 4 and 3 eighteenths is between 4 and 5. Is it closer to the 4 or closer to the 5? Yeah, way closer to the 4. So this is about 4 and 3 eighteenths. Here's your middle part. Um, this is a closed circle because it's less than or equal to, and it's less than, so it goes to the left. Yes. I did put the half mark. Thank you, son. Yes. Um, okay. The whole de debate about decimals. Okay. You put a decimal if it's easy. If it's four-fifths, yeah, that's 0.8. Does that look like that's going to be easy, man? Three-eighteenths? It looks like it's going to get ugly, right? So you only go to decimal if I tell you, round to this particular point. If not, leave it as a mixed number. Now, if the decimal is easy, like I said, you get three, point five, uh, you get three and four eighths, that's three and a half. Or if you get five and two thirds, you can do 5.66 repeating. But if it's going to be complicated like that, leave it as a mixed number. Yes, sir? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, yeah, no, yes, yes. Because I divide 3 to both sides. Thank you, my brother. Not paying attention. X is less than or equal to 4 and 1, 6, actually. Thank you, my brother. Heck yeah, it would be a lot easier than 4 and 1, 6. Thank you, my brother. Great job, David. Okay, let's take this. Let's bring it down. Okay, let's see if we got this one. Well, what do you think you would do here first? I would make that an improper fraction because nobody wants to work with fractions. So let's go ahead and get rid of the denominators. That's going to be negative 13 sixths. What's common denominator here? 12. 12. Okay, guys, please. Please. Guys, please. This is going to be 12 divided by 3. Yeah, that's 4x. Very good. That's going to be negative 9. Very good. And look, 6 goes into 12 two times. 2 times negative 13 is negative 26. You add the 9 to both sides. 4x is less than or equal to negative 17. Divided by 4. x is less than or equal to negative 4 and 1 fourth. So to graph that bad boy is between negative 4 and negative 5. Here's the halfway mark. This is negative 4 and 1 fourth, less than or equal to, so closed circle and shaded to the left. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay. And then I was going to do some let's practice, but just so you know, just in case you want to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and click on it so you can know what website I went to. It's called Qtasoftware.com, K-U-T-A-S-O-F-T-W-A-R-E.com. It's right there. It's right here. Qtasoftware.com. They've got free. They've got free worksheets. Okay, on math. And all I did was two-step inequalities. Okay. They also have another one. That is for. Um, multi-step inequalities. So, 
in this website, not only do they have the, the problems, but then they have the answers at the back. And yes, you can print them out and you can do them and it's for free. That's why I put this up here. Okay? It's cutasoftware.com. You're very welcome. And God bless you and have a great day.